we'll start off by trying to frame the world of APIs. Uh, how do we take what we see today and then devise meaningful strategies and, and things we ought to be looking out for and planning for in 2017? It's a long, ongoing process to educate your whole team on what makes something consumable. Well, you talked about um, documentation. For established companies, it's going to be a long, hard process to educate your teams to get them over that hurdle. What once was agile, release once a day, is now let's release every six months to make sure everything still works. I think that challenge is something that uh, at least some of us can remember from those times. I also think um, uh, issues like security is something that, and I'm not just thinking of uh, like uh, uh, vulnerabilities, but also just contract level or, or message level security, which which uh, uh, I might get slammed for this, but SOAP was actually re really good at, or there was a big effort to, to, to um, do that well. Security is not the icing on the API cake. You have to deal with security from the start. It's a lot easier to call an API to integrate email than it is to integrate with an SMTP server, right? It's just much simpler. So when you have these things that bring forth faster, better features, you know, adding OAuth or, or you know, every car in three years is going to have an API. Right? That's going to help make better products. And pretty soon you can say, I'm not going to buy this car because it doesn't have a freaking integration with Pandora or Spotify. Have we learned that, that it's not just a case of build it and they will come, and then we actually have to build APIs to solve real problems. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us. I'd like to thank our panelists. Uh...